guys. Uh, I got a video to share with you, and I just couldn't wait to show you guys this. Um, this is the Trumpeter 1200 scale RMS Titanic. Um, I, I, I've been trying to play with the camera to try to get different angles, to try to get it all in the shot, because this thing is so immense. It, it's so big. You guys can't imagine how big it is. Um, well, it's 1200 scale, but the actual size, when you order it online... Okay, you know when you guys order something, and you're looking at the picture, and it looks really big, and you get it, and it ends up like being that big, and you're like, oh boy. Well, this is the reverse situation where you order it, and yeah, it looks pretty big, but then when you get it in person, man, is it huge. Um, let me show you the box it came in. So, when the UPS guy came dragging it down the driveway, of course I almost had a heart attack the way he was dragging it, um, but look at the size of the box. I don't know if that can get in frame. Let me try to zoom out a little. Nope, zoom out. That's as far back as it'll go. I tried putting the camera on high areas um, to try to get the best shot for you guys, but... It is what it is, it's so big. So let me put the box aside. I'll put the box here for scale. Now I had done some plans because I had wanted to do the 1350 Titanic. And I don't know if you can tell, I should put it in the video. This is the Minicraft Titanic. And this is 1350 scale. I don't know if you can see the difference between the boxes. But I'd still like to do this one. I don't know if I'll do this one. Maybe as the Britannic. I was thinking of that idea. So we can put that one aside. And let's finally open up the box. I've been dying to open it up. So let me. It doesn't, mine didn't come in any kind of plastic wrap or anything. And like I do with everything else, I'm going to put up a ton of pictures for you guys. So the first thing that I notice is there's a lot of instructions. And as I go through, I'm going to put up a photograph of what I'm looking at. So when I talk about it, you can see it as well. I might do a, a different video that's totally devoted to all the instructions and pamphlets that come with this model. Just because it's so special. Um, Titanic makes her way past colors of the island or right on her way to the English Channel, April 10th, 1912. And it goes through some historical parts of the ship. Heavy winds blow across Belfast. On the 1st of April 1912, as Titanic fired up her sea trials. As the winds increase, the decision is made to cancel the trials. They would resume the following day with the near line, the new liner passed with flying colors. This would be the Trumpeter 1200 scale Titanic kit booklet. The story of the RMS Titanic by Jonathan Smith. And it shows some information. I'm going to put up pictures, and if you want, you can pause the video because I'll make them very clear and you can see what I'm looking at. It shows you the parts that come with the kit um, the hull, the deck plating. You can see the parts tree. You can see the part one is easy. It's got the hull, and you put a, the the, the uh, forward and aft deck plating in. You can see part two near the aft deck. Um, 
the first stages are simple. <laughs> you know, then like anything else, the deeper you get into it, the more it's going to be just really um, difficult. I don't know if it's horribly difficult, but the amount of detail on this kit is just phenomenal. Part four is the propellers. Part five, you start to put the superstructure on. Part six are the decks, promenade decks on the side, in the middle of the ship. Seven, the formation of the bridge, wheelhouse. You get the top deck superstructure. Part nine is more. You can see in part nine, the little, I think those are photo etch parts, I'm not sure, but they look like they would be. I would hope they would be of the windows, because, you know, Titanic's windows were just so beautiful. Part ten, more of the superstructure, the top parts, the, uh, the top decks, first class sections. Part eleven is more of the windows, and uh, putting all the parts into place. Part 12 is more of the detail putting on. 13, you see the top decks going on. I guess it would be A deck. Part 14 is more the bridge, the bridge area. And you can see in part 14, the part F1, the little where the grand staircase is going to go, that beautiful dome that's on top. Fifteen is, you got the, um, the glass tops, and you got the dome. This is going to be really nice, because the only Titanic model I ever made was the 1750 scale from Ravel. Um, and it was a good kit, but there wasn't a lot of fine detail, and from what the, I see in this so far, it's just, just going to be amazing. 16 is the bridge part and the middle plates and decks that go to the hull. 17 is more of the detailing going on to the front of the ship, right at the bow. You got the, uh, the storage hatches. Part 18 you can see more of the uh, the detail parts, and I guess the chain of the anchors go in. And you can see that famous crane that's right at the bow on the ship. Nineteen, you've got the aft section, the detail that's there. Now the storage hatch. Part 20 is more of the same. You got the breathing vents that go on the back. And more work around the storage hatch. And forgive me, I, my knowledge of ships is very limited. Um, part 21, more detailed pieces. So what's nice is you can paint them differently. With the smaller models, um, a lot of the little detail pieces are actually molded into the plastic so it's hard if you want to really get that detail this is going to make it so much easier part 22 more of the same the breathing vents I don't know what they're called technically 23 is more windows 24 is the the grand staircase dome Of course, they'd have, they have more than one of the glass domes and more of the um, glass ceiling that goes in. Part 25, more detail that goes on top of the deck. I think this is, this is the to absolute top deck. 26 is more of the little detail parts that go together to make larger detail parts. 27, those parts are put on to the top of the ship. 28. I guess the last deck would go on. You can see the smokestack areas. 29, 
is the formation of the observation deck. Um, not observation deck, the, um, the observation post, the compass post. I'm not sure what that's called. I really got a I should have brushed up on my parts of the ship. I'm sorry. Um, but I was just so excited to show you guys this. Um, part 30, more of the top. 31, the decks that go on to the top permanently. 32 is more of the, the glass um, housings on top, glass paneling. 33, let's see, more of the same. Smokestack areas will go on top of these and more of the window placement and then placement of these finished decks that go on top. The grand staircase, I don't know if the forward or aft, but those the lighthouse, not the lighthouse, kind of like the, the glass house with all the glass panels to really illuminate it. Number 35. Um, in 36, you get the formation of the smokestacks, and you can see more of the detail, the little uh, the ladders. I hope those are photo etched, because that would be really nice for the, uh, the detail. Incidentally, I do have the, the 1200 trumpeter detail kit coming as well. Um, but it's so far away. It's in China. It's going to take a while to get here. But when I get that in, I will show you that as well. 37 is more of the smokestacks, 38 is more, and then 39 is the placement of the finished smokestacks. Of course, the Titanic had four. Um, they only needed three. One was a dummy, but at the time, the amount of smokestacks, you know, signified the ship's strength and prestige. So, they had four, even though one of them was not used. 40, 41, and 42 are more detail going on the top of the ship. 43 has more, I can't say, I don't know if those are handrails or not. Forty-four, more of the same detailing. There's a real lot of parts. This is going to be absolutely beautiful. You I, I had made a video a while ago of the 1350 scale USS Enterprise from Polar Lights and I had told you guys that that was the Super Bowl of Enterprise models. I can tell you without a doubt, hands down, that this is the absolute Super Bowl of Titanic models. I, I was excited to get the 135, um, 1350 scale mini craft, the deluxe one. I was ecstatic about that. I am delirious with this one. This is just so beautiful. I just can't wait to, to make it. 45 looks more of the, uh, the small pieces, the port windows. Well, not the port windows. I'm not sure what these are, the little hooks. Are they for the lifeboats? I don't think so. I'm not sure what that is because the instructions show where they are and where to place them, but they don't actually say what they are. 46 is the staircases that go into the bow section, in front of the bridge, and more staircases throughout the top of the ship. 47, again, is more staircases. Um, the placement, and you can see some of the railings and different superstructures that are going to go on. I'm assuming that's photo etch. I don't know yet. I don't know. It could be plastic. 48 is it looks like the benches small benches that go on I mean again the detail is just going to be phenomenal 49 more bench placement and the rear observation deck right by the flag 50 again at the aft end of the ship right at the stern you can see more detail into the observation deck that's there. And 51 is more of the small detail pieces. They look like tiny little cranes or tiny little things holding up the... Uh... Again, I'm not sure what that is and I apologize for my ignorance of the ship. 
52 has those placements put into place. 53 is the formation and placement of the lifeboats. Interestingly, you can see that I guess this is for the point of view for detail only because they're showing how to make the boats. So you've got the, the hull and then you put what would be the seats in and then you place them that way according to the model but actually the Titanic had them all covered um, they weren't open like that I guess this is to show the detail I'm sure they have um, I don't know if the the extra set the detail set has I think they have the the covers to put on that looks like the um, the canvas but um, yeah, this is the formation and placement of the lifeboats. 54 has more railings, hand railings put into place. And it shows you the way that they need to be bent. <clears throat> 55 is more railings throughout the top of the ship. 56 as well, the railings around the bow and around the stern. You remember the uh, famous James Cameron movie Titanic, 1997, I believe. That's where Jack was standing. And then with Rose later on. 57 is more of the railings. The railing that goes onto the observation deck. 58 looks like the more crane detailing. 59 is more placement of those, both forward and aft. <clears throat> 60 is the placement of the, uh, the masts. Let's see, 61 is the detail that goes on to the mast as well as the, um, what do you call the rat nest? Not the rat nest, the, uh, the rat line, I think. I'm not sure. I don't see the crow's, the crow's nest yet. Oh, maybe that's not on this one. I think the detail set actually has brass masts, and I think the crow's nests are going to be on those. I'm not sure, because I don't have that kit yet. I was just going off some of the pictures. But the final, moving into the final stage is 61, the ladders, and 62, ultimately, is the ship being placed onto the base. Really nice. And that's this instruction kit. So, instruction sheet. What's the next one? LED. Nice. So it comes with an LED kit as well. And again, um, everything I speak to you about, I'm going to put pictures up so you can see what I'm looking at. It shows a finished model of this kit with the lights in place. Obviously it's not painted. It just shows you right out of the box what it'll look like. So this is the LED assembling guide. And the first page shows the parts. You got that wheel of the LED light tape. You got the switch. Some of the wires with the plugs, wires with the sockets. You know, kind of like the uh, the polar lights kits that uh, the little alligator clips that clip onto the circuit boards. <clears throat> you got some heat shrinkable tubing. You got resistors yellow LEDs, red LEDs, and green LEDs. Because remember guys, when you solder the lights, you have to put a resistor. If you don't put a resistor, it'll burn out in a matter of seconds. So the steps on the following page start with one, you cut up the wiring, the, um, I'm sorry, not the wiring, the uh, LED sheets, the strips. It says to drill a hole, I'm sure that's for the so it can be wired to the base. So I've seen people make this kit and then put in the remote control for the motors and spinning the propellers and actually float. So I'm guessing if you're going to do that, 
then you wouldn't drill a hole in for the LED kit to go into the base. I guess that would be for the purpose of wiring a switch in step three. Let's see, part eight is placement of some of the LED tape. Nine is more the bulb placement. Soldering. Fifteen and sixteen more placement. This is gonna look so nice. One thing I noticed looking at the front of the ship. Now I'm looking at the front. Now you can see it's all lit up on the top, the decks, the promenade. Um, but what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to drill out all the portholes because I want it to look, well, like the top of the box. You see all the sides of the ship are lit up, all the portholes are lit, and that's what I want to do as well. So you're not going to go through all this trouble and just do it like that. You've got to do it authentic with all the lights. Maybe not every single one, but definitely most of them, maybe a little more than three quarters of them, just to show the light, the lighted portholes. More placement and soldering from 17 to 22. Let's see. Twenty-three. And I, evidently, if you're going to be doing this while building the ship, you're going to do this in addition to doing the steps of the build because obviously you're not going to cement everything and permanently affix everything into place and then do the lighting kit because it's going to be a part. So you're going to do this as you do the building instructions. Again, it shows the use of hot glue. And the LED lights. Now there may just be enough to just light the top of the ship, so I'm going to have to figure out how I can light the the hull, all the portholes in the hull. Um, I can I can make um, that lit up, so I can do all that. I can fabricate that myself. That's not a problem. I'm just going to make sure that I that it's primed, and when you paint it, to make sure that there's no light leak. to step 41 you can see the replacement of the decks on top of each other more on the sit page 10 and 11 you can see with the, the decks that hold the smokestacks on top So you do have to have some knowledge. This isn't like the Polar Lights um, lighting kit where you just plug in, plug in them into the, whether it's the extensions for each other or the circuit boards. You actually have to do soldering and have some knowledge of where to solder, place everything, put the resistors on. And though there's not a, a total ton of modifying the kit, you do have to drill holes on certain parts of the areas like again on step 61 when you're drilling into the bottom and again in 68 now this I just saw this in the book this is exactly what I had purchased so I don't know if you can see that I'll, I'll put a picture up this is this is what's coming in the mail so when that comes in, I will definitely go through it and show you guys. I'm sure the camera angle won't have to be so <laughs> far away. Back to the lighting instructions. Up to page 15 with part 75. It shows you where to do the, uh, the resistors. And then on the back page, the final placement the lighting kit and then part 78 shows you how to put the switch 
it's more of a, a loose switch that's going to be there with the battery, a power pack. I'm probably, I, I like plugging my models in as opposed to having it run off a of battery. Um, but we'll see. And 79 shows the completed lighting kit installed. <clears throat> like I said, I think it looked better with the portholes lit up. Let's see, what else do we got here? All right, I'm sure this will be the painting guide. Yep, painting and masking. What an absolute beautiful ship she is. Absolutely gorgeous. What a shame. I wonder if they would have known back when they scrapped, let's see, the Olympic. If they would have known the popularity of the Titanic, I'm sure they wouldn't have scrapped her. I'm sure they would have tried to preserve her, especially in the popularity of Titanic nowadays. Because <clears throat> Olympic is the closest thing that we had to her. So it shows the painting and marking guide, colors of the different things, the paint, the color scheme is right here, and that's, that's all that's on this. So that's all the paperwork that comes with the kit, and actually let me go ahead and turn this around, and you can see the, the scale of this thing, how just immense it is, let me show you can all right, see that. So let's start with the smallest box. I'm assuming that this is going to be the light kit. Yes, this is the LED kit. And like I said, I'm going to put up a lot of pictures. This video is going to be so many pictures. So let's open it up. Let's see what we got in here. We got the lighting switch. We've got the roll of the LED tape, the lighting tape, and we got the wiring, we got the green, the red, the yellow, the LEDs, some of the connecting wires as well as the shrink tube, they don't give very much shrink tubing, yellow LEDs I just said, 120 millimeter wires with the sockets that are on them. We've got the resistors and we got more of the wires with the plugs. So that is basically the lighting kit. And of course the instructions. So let's put that aside. Let's see what else we got. We'll go to the all right we'll do it this way. We'll go to the next biggest box. And there's even boxes underneath, so there's a ton of stuff in this kit. Okay. What's in this box? I see the deck plating, the stern, and I see the bow. And this is the next section. I'm not sure if this is the bridge area or not. You can see a section that has the, the smokestacks. Oh, and look at the, the smokestacks themselves. Now again, doing the, the 1750 scale model, the tight, the, the, you know, the smokestacks were like that big. Take a look at the size of these smokestacks. It's just, and according to, you know, the same scale as my hand, it's, they're just huge. It's just phenomenal. I love this kit already. Wouldn't it be great if they did a 1-200 scale Enterprise kit or the refit? I would really like that. Yes, it would be big. I know. That's the whole point. The other two smokestacks. You can see where the ladders go. More of the, the decking. You can see the really nice openings of the windows. And you got some nice little buildings that go on the top deck. The detail in these are really, really nice. And the, the plastic looks relatively thick, um, which is nice for the light blocking. So these are all going to have lights in them. And I see photo etch. Um, 
I feel this. This is the glass parts. I can feel the dome for the grand staircase in here. Let's see this. Ooh, there's photo etch pieces. The first photo etch sheet. Let's see. You can see where the crane detailing is. There's actually the ladders for the smokestacks. You can see some of the beautiful windows. Just absolutely gorgeous. Some staircases. And again, because a lot of the windows are so different, the patterns change. They're just absolutely gorgeous. I hope it comes out in the pictures because the video is so far away. I gotta, <laughs> you know. On the reverse side, is more of the same. It shows the little benches. You can make the little benches. More window frames and more ladders. It's got another ladder for the smokestack. Beautiful. And there's another photo etch section. It looks to be the handrails. And the other side has what would appear to be the formation of the compass platform, I think, or observation platform. And there's more ladders. And I'm thinking that these are the, again, the, the rat tail, not the rat tails, the uh, rat lines. I think that's what it's called. That it goes up the side of the mast where you can climb up. At least on a pirate ship, I think that's what it's called. You can see the ladders that go up the smokestacks. And there's more photo etch. Nice. Let's see, the front side has more of the railings, more of the staircases that go throughout the ship, more of the benches. Is there are a lot of benches on a Titanic. More of the absolute beautiful frames for the windows. The reverse side has more of the same. Looks like detailing for the cranes, staircases, and windows. These windows are just beautiful. Oh, the, the, the detail in this is just amazing. Let's see what's left. There's one more photo etch piece, and it looks like it's all hand railing. And it actually has chain for the anchors. You know, with all of this, um, I don't know what the the detail set can include that this doesn't already have. So if you, because I know this is very expensive and the detail set is very expensive. Um, if you just decide to go ahead and build the model with everything that's provided, I'm sure it's going to come out just as nice. It might not be as much detail as there would be with, with the detail kit, but it's still very nice. So let's put this back and we'll move on to the next box. <clears throat> And let's see, that would be the middle box. So let's get this one open. <clears throat> I don't know why they're so hard to open. All right, but with this box, let's see, hold that up to the light. This is the parts of the base that the ship rests on. And this might be the base itself. Yes, you can see. <laughs> look how big the base is. I mean, this is my arm, right? And and look at the base. <laughs> that's, that's how big the, she is. She's going to be absolutely spectacular. One two hundred scale, the Queen of the Ocean, Titanic. You can see the trumpeter logo. This is a very nice, heavy, sturdy base. Let's see what else is in here. More of the buildings that go on the top deck. Beautiful. And now we get into some really nice... This is the plating that goes along the promenade decks. Oh, this is beautiful. You can see some of the, the windows and again, some of the portholes that I'm going to be drilling out just to get, the, get them lit up. And this is in the middle part of the ship, part of the, 
I guess it would be the smoking room or maybe the gym. The deck just below, the deck that contains the smokestacks. Beautiful. And let's see, it gives you the propellers in plastic. Um, I know for a fact the uh, detail set that I have coming has the the propellers. They're actually brass. I'm looking forward to seeing those. But these are very nice, very clean. And it gives you the option because you know, depending on the pictures you look at, you had the three propellers on the port and starboard, and right in the center. Depending on what picture you would see, you'd see a propeller with four blades or a propeller with three. Now there's speculation if the one, you know, the pictures they showed that had the four, maybe it were the Olympic, maybe the Britannic, it, it's just nobody knows for sure. Um, and as of right now, I don't think that there's any video or pictures of the actual propellers now. I think they're sunk into the silt at the bottom and you can't see them. But other things on this tree, the parts of the bottom of the hull that the propellers come out of, you can see the rudder, which everybody knows the rudder was too small for the size of the ship, and, and even now it looks kind of ridiculously small as opposed to the scale for the rest of the ship. You can see more walls, and it looks like, I'm not sure if those are cranes, I'm not going to say anything, but you can see the tops of some of the buildings, the roofs. What else we got in here? Oh, we got the detail, the uh, the decal sheets. So looking like you have two of the United States flags, British flag, um, the white star flag, looks like a flag for France, I'm not sure, and some, well, there's not a lot of detailing uh, decals that come with this kit. So, that's everything in this box. to the last box on the top row. Oh, this one's a little bit bigger. So, let's open this. Alright, what do we got in this box? Parts tree. Looks like it's got the lifeboats and both of these trees look identical. Roofs, parts of the roofs and some of the buildings. More of the walls. This one has more of the same. These look identical as well. The lifeboat seats, the insides, and more of the plating for the walls, the promenade decks. You see, the, the plastic itself is molded very beautifully. You can see there's good detail on the plastic. You can see the, the famous bridge. It just looks amazing. And this one has a lot of the walls for the tops of the decks. You can see this one has pieces for the smokestack pieces would appear to be pieces for the smokestack, I'm not sure. And what, what else have we got? More of those pieces that look like the smokestack pieces. And I will photograph all of them so every, as I, as I go along, 
and I take pieces of, and parts out of the box. I'm going to put up photographs for you to see exactly what it is because I want you guys to share in this experience and see everything of this amazing, amazing kit. So, this is really amazing. This actually feels like metal. Part of the deck plating. It feels like aluminum or... I don't think it's plastic. It could be, you know, it could be plastic, but it's very solid. Probably plastic now that I feel it, but it's, it's thick and it's strong. So that's the first part. And here's the second one. And again, you can see this is just for the middle part of the ship and <laughs> see how big it is. Again, this, this is my arm. And there might be another one on the bottom. Nope, no, this is something different. This looks like it could be, oh, this is the masts. All the parts for the, the masts. And what else we got? This has those cir circular small little buildings that go on the top decks. So I'm not sure what they're called. And I'll, this one's a lot of detail, the detailing tree. And that's everything that's in this one. Put this one back. These are amazing. Beautiful. So, bottom box of the first half. Let's see, this is, and this opens from the end. And this is possibly all of the, yep, the decking. Just amazing. <laughs> this thing is going to be like a canoe <laughs> and be able to put it in your pool and go for a ride more of the, the decking just incredibly incredibly beautiful is that it for the inside of this box yes that is it So I can I can imagine those of you that had wanted to put maybe a um, remote control and put the motors in and actually have it float. This would be really really cool to do. And now for the grand finale. This has got to be the hull. It's tape. Let me get a. A knife. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at her. I am so far away from the camera right now. You can see how beautiful. Isn't that a beautiful rear end? Look at that. And the detailing on the hull is amazing. Let's bring the forward part of the ship. Absolutely beautiful. Let me show you some of the, the decal at the detail.
I know this. Thing. It just goes forever, doesn't it? So let me do a pass to show you the detail. And it goes all the way there. So this thing is just immense. Like I said, it's, it's a canoe. <laughs> Put it down so you can see the scale of it. And that's just amazing. Simply amazing. And see the holes where the, the anchors are gonna come from. And the detailing is just amazing. The bottom of the ship. Um, there's a couple of pieces with a flask, the flashing. But that's that's nothing that can be sanded down. Um, it's going to be absolutely amazing. I'll show you the bottom of the back as well. Just stunningly beautiful. And I guess there's a lot of the pieces that will go from the detail set onto the sides of the ship. Now like what I was telling you, I'm going to drill out all of these holes because it would just look amazing for these to be lit. And I wonder if anybody knows, I mean, what we're supposed to put these in? <laughs> I mean, without having to build an addition to the house that's uh, got clear glass on it, I mean, a case for this is going to be amazing. But we're going to have to build one. You're not going to go through all this trouble and not protect it in some kind of a case or. That, I don't even know a place we can put it. I'm doing the filming now in the living room because that's the only place we have the room. The camera isn't exactly close. I can't even reach the camera with my hand where I am now because this thing is so, well, it's titanic. But it's just amazing. And that, my friends, is the 1-200 scale of the new model from Trumpeter. RMS Titanic. I am so looking forward to doing this build. Um, right now I'm working on the Enterprise refit. I had just finished Joe's 1350 scale USS Enterprise and I'm working on the 1350 refit and I'm, a year in, I'm over a year into that already. A lot of work has gone into that one. I'm currently working on the nacelles. So I'm painting the cells now, and they'll be ready for putting the aztec on and painting the aztec -ing. So that's where I'm at now, and after I do that, you know, I just have so many projects lined up that I get so enthusiastic about. Um, but I do want to do this one soon. So if you guys were curious on what came with the Trumpeter 1200 RMS Titanic kit, I hope you enjoyed the video. And... Until next time, I'll see you guys very soon.